Dale, welcome to Cheltenham. Here we are on the eve of the Cheltenham Cricket Festival. It's been almost a week since we last played. Uh, Durham, a long weekend off as well. Do you see this week as a chance to reset? Yeah, I think obviously the, the boys love playing here at, at Cheltenham and I think it is a um, quite a good time of the year to, to have a change of, of scenery. Um, you know, it's been a tricky season in, in a way because we had a, a, had a fantastic start. I think when we had our um, full sort of squad available, we we really um, got ourselves into some winning winning positions when the rain ended up uh, intervening, um, and then we have had again a sort of mar of injuries, which is which has on the positive side created some good opportunities for some of the younger players. Um, but obviously, it it hits the squad a bit with our um, quality. Um, so you know, we are what I have been impressed with over the. The first half of the season is, and, and what I always ask for is just the effort. Um, so the effort in the training, the effort on the field, I feel has been um, has been outstanding. I don't think there have there have been any days where I've had to pull them up on that. I just feel um, with the small squad we have, with the uh, with the injuries, when you have injuries to top quality players, we we haven't been able to replace that. Um, and we've ended up being fairly inconsistent with, with some of the performances. But in between that, some really um, outstanding performances from, from some of the younger players that have, that have taken the opportunities with you know, hundreds from Oli Price. Uh, Tom Price's amazing feat against Worcester. Um, Ed Singh getting his first Fifer. So, you know, there have been some, some real um, sparkles there amongst... Uh, uh, what you would say will be in some, some poor results. And with those players that have had opportunities so far this season, obviously been a lot of lessons learned, players that have done really well. How do you think that will benefit the, the group that we have going into, firstly, these two counter championship matches at Cheltenham and then the one-day cup competition? Yeah, I think the one-day cup is obviously something that we, we will focus on. I think we will have um, a lot of the players back. Obviously, March is out for the season, but uh, we do feel we have got a squad there that can compete um, and with it being only 10 overs each I think a few of the bowlers will be able to be fit for that that competition. Um, these two four day games it is great to be here I think I think the players all feel do feel refreshed um, but we're still down on, on a few players. Grant Rulofsson has, has gone home through uh, due to sort of family reasons um, and in the short space of time we, we haven't been able to replace him um, and it gives an opportunity to, to Joe Phillips if he, he is in the squad if he makes his, um, his debut that'll be an amazing uh, game for him but so as much as yes it is a reset I think it is going to be a tough ask um, to just expect to win uh, we're going to have to play very well and we obviously that's the aim uh, but we are we are still down in, in, in numbers and, and quality when it comes to the four day the four day cricket. But I do feel the one day stuff uh, it will be uh, we will be starting fresh and uh, we will be eyeing that out to to turn the season around and try and uh, and win a win a competition. And realistically, I think we have got a chance. But as um, with the counter championship, as we saw last year, we came into a bit of form in August and September actually, yeah. and in the, in the end we went a million miles away from perhaps staying in the first division. Yes. Uh, the second division is quite tight at the minute down there. So a couple of wins, not saying we'll get them here, but a couple of wins here, it could kickstart something if we get a, a result here and there. No, you're absolutely right. I think um, again, you know, just the specifics of that having David Payne fit and ready at the back end of last season was. Uh, you know, there's 300 wickets and a huge amount of experience and skill there um, was a big factor. Um, Tom Price obviously came into his own, so we and we did finish very well, uh, and we are hoping to obviously do the same. Um, the club is trying to get a an overseas player in, and we're working hard on on trying to get that, which I think would lift spirits of the team and and of um, our our supporters. So we are trying to do that. Um, David obviously is a big loss in, in red ball cricket. Uh, medically, is uh, we have been sort of warned that if he does play four day cricket, that could be um, pretty hazardous to his career. So we don't want to do that to him. And um, trying to replace that in, in in the middle of a season and with obviously March and down, you've almost got 600 red ball wickets off the field. Um, and as I said, it's just very hard to replace. So. 
in the four day if we do get someone in we, we're going to try and fill that gap if we get someone in uh, then I do feel that we can um, do what we did last season um, one thing I, I do want to reiterate though is that these guys have been through some pretty tough times really tight um, they, they work extremely hard and I know that they more than anyone want to turn this, this around and, and get some wins so um, but as I said all I can ask for is their effort and their um, and for them to, to stick together and so far this season that has been has been the case and I'd, I'd hope that is almost the main thing for the rest of the season and if they do that I'm sure the results will come. Yeah, you know, everyone can see from the outside how much effort the guys are putting in and what, uh, when you play at a festival, very close isn't it when you come to Cheltenham, the fans are very close, it's uh, much more of a personable atmosphere. How does that affect the players and coaches and does it give them a lift, does it buoy them going into a match? Yeah, I think obviously our, our performances are probably the most important thing and I think that knowing that we've got support is really the key. You know, I think um, every club goes through some tough times and I think that we are in that, in that space. Um, it almost seems every time we try and, and put things right, we, we end up with another challenge. And um, I do feel that the players are, are up for those challenges. And I would say that we really do need support. You know, we need support now in these tough times. Um, and I know that the players will be doing everything they can to make sure that our performances then um, lift spirits of everyone and themselves. So uh, I do feel the crowd play a massive role. I do think that, you know, just their mindset when they come here is uh, upbeat and hopefully that switches a few things in, in, in their heads. Um, but, I'll, you know, the main thing for me, though, is, is getting the support from people. When, when you are down, it's never nice being, being kicked. You want to be lifted up. And that's what I'm trying to do here, and uh, and we're hoping that uh, you know this festival and the One Day Cup will start turning that season around. You mentioned briefly there as well about spirit and, and mood in the camp. Spirit seems great in the camp from what everyone else can see. Is that hmm. that the case that, that despite what has been a relatively difficult season so far, that mood is still pretty high? Yeah, I think that we you know it has been difficult in, in a sense, but uh, I feel the first sort of six weeks we we were playing outstanding cricket, so. Everyone knows that that's, that is the case. Um, we are not a bad side and uh, we're just trying to obviously get players fit and the quality back. Um, but what I think is the, the real true test of a team is when you are not winning is to still have the team spirit, the camaraderie and, and everyone pulling together. And I think that is testament to them. You know, they really are sticking together. They're working as hard as they can. There's no fingers being pointed. Um, and to me, I feel that you know we do deserve to, to for things to go our way, get a few players back on the park, uh, and finish the season well would be would be obviously the aim. Well, look, Dale, thank you for your time this morning, and um, hope you enjoy two weeks of festival cricket. Cheers, thanks, Jack. Thanks, buddy.